Uh, hey folks, this is Prashant and uh, today we're going to see how to make one of the best, uh, one of the most stunning presentations uh, uh, on Google Slides. Um, we've, we all need presentations, right? I mean, if you're working, you need to make a good presentation. You're, uh, on your, in your, if you're studying, on your projects, you need, you need to make great presentations. So we all, at some point in our life, we, we need to make presentations. And we pretty much have that need all throughout our life. Uh, we've all used PowerPoints to make presentations uh, um, all our life. I personally use it, and I think it's a, I think it's a great, brilliant tool. Um, however, now uh, uh, we all, we all obviously can't just stick to that and live our life with that. So, um, I personally think Google Slides is one of the best tools now available uh, available to make presentations. Uh, it's cool. It's user friendly. It's on the cloud. It's available anywhere. It's it's very simple to use, and it looks great. Um, <coughs> uh, this is a presentation that I made on Google Slides. Now the question, actually, let me just come back to the main point. Now the question, the the, the deal uh, we have here is about making a great, stunning presentation. This is also a presentation made on Google Slide. Uh, this looks like this, it's pretty simple, it's vanilla. So the question is, do you want your presentation to look like this or you want your presentation to look something like this? I will just give you a glimpse of how, when I say visually impactful and stunning, this is how exactly this presentation looks. The whole idea is to make it uh, visually uh, appealing, uh, crisp, clear, uh, the visuals speak a lot, The the content, although it's there, but it's, 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 it, it makes it look beautiful and it doesn't clutter. <coughs> Bold letters, chats, shapes, images to make your point. So that's the whole idea. So let's look at how we're going to do this out here today. It's actually pretty simple. We're going to use Google Slides. Uh, you know the drill of how to start it. You go to your drive and create a new... Google slide uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna directly take you into how to start creating this particular slide from ground zero so you go to insert here you insert a new slide which is practically gonna be a very blank slide I like my slate clean so I'm gonna just erase everything out from here I'm gonna look at very <coughs> neat and simple I'm gonna uh, insert an image uh, right from here it says image I'm gonna click here upload any random image <coughs> so I'm going to let's say uh, any any image let me just put an image out here actually let me I don't want to use a very heavy image so let me just use a very simple and small size image although it's around 500 KB uh, it is still big or heavy but still it's gonna upload pretty fast <coughs> your image is right on the background all you have to do is that stretch from the from the right and stretch on the left as well the image is gonna put, uh, is going to put, uh, is going to look stretched but this is not our background that's the whole idea and we're gonna quickly do is just right click on this on max obviously you will uh, double click and you will go to replace image. Uh, choose this time the image that you want as your background. I will give you a tip here. Use unsplash.com. They have loads of amazing, stunning, real images. You can use it for anything. Mind you, yes, you heard it right. You can use it for anything. Uh, and it's officially available uh, to be used for anything. Commercially, personally, whatever you want to do with that image. Uh, they have amazing <coughs> images and every time I use most of their images This is how your background initially will look like your now this whole beautiful image is your background You can do whatever you want to do with this And I'm gonna quickly show you how to work around with this. So since once you click on this um, image you, you have to click on the image options right on the top out here It will give you options out here and here is where you can create magic with the background you can make it <coughs> black and white. You can give it any tone you want. You can give it the tone that you want. 
the way your you the way you want your presentation to talk i'm going to use a black and white crisp image i'm going to change it to that or the other option i'm going to slow it show it to you in the next slide how that can be worked you can also manually work around with the options and make it look amazing so this is your background now you can use any text i'm not going to waste a uh, time creating a uh, text out here so i'm just going to draw a box out here right from here text box on the right hand side make sure when you making great presentations the idea behind a great presentation is that you talk loud in it you got to be bold in it um your visually visual images and the text uh has to go hand in hand so you cannot clutter your presentation <coughs> use a lot of steve jobs formula uh keep a lot less text on the presentation talk more on the presentation uh so i'm going to use uh text out here that i've already created uh keep it bold like i told you <coughs> let it make a let it make a big statement okay you can give it whatever color you want it to give right now i think uh black looks pretty good so we're going to keep it to black i sorry i changed the background by mistake uh you have to go here and go to the text and take change the text color to let's say you want to change it to red you can keep it red let's say we want to keep it red as of now uh we create another text box here and we write more stuff out here make sure you change the text to white this is the best slide we have created <coughs> so you basically can fill up the entire what i have done here is that i have um <coughs> put in a lot of uh, i use a lot of colors out here so you can use colors which will uh, obviously create um uh, a lot of it will bring in a lot of uh, you know flare to your presentation like this you know uh and yeah so that's how you basically go about doing this uh let's just change it back to bla uh, black again it's going to look great in black now let's see how this presentation looks when you present it and you blow it up this is how it's going to look so it's going to look beautiful rather than our old vanilla simple plain presentation that we created you can use a lot of other techniques uh like uh let's say you want to create another slide where you're going to use bold letters and another image same technique you create a new slide now you don't really have to you know go ahead and do that once again all you have to do is that just just go to this slide that you just created <coughs> copy and paste it wherever you want okay so you got another slide out here all you have to do is that just remove all the text that you have just done okay and you just right click or double click on a mac and you just replace the image and put another image onto it which is going to look stunning so you basically take any image that you want and uh, let's say i pick up uh, this image this is also again taken from unsplash.com i keep saying <coughs> they have amazing stuff uh, stuff on uh, unsplash uh, do check it out um and i basically use uh, it for a lot of stuff i've used uh, it on my personal website as well this is a heavy image make sure that you compress your images before you before you use it on your slides um <coughs> or it will take <coughs> time like this <coughs> i've not been smart here i'm using a very heavy file out here but that's okay we're going to quickly run through this um now if you see you're going to have this image out here it already looks amazing but you can make as promised let me you can always change the texture to whatever you want again black and white blue or whatever you want to let's just say that no recolor and now how 
you got to you can see here how we can manually change the entire outlook of that particular of this particular slide this particular background you can keep the transparency how much ever you want it's pretty much good at zero you can reduce the if you're using <coughs> lighter shade text you can keep your background brightness uh, dark you can reduce the brightness to around 50% or whatever you just you just work around with it whatever whatever fits you well uh, you you see uh, whatever seems good just go for it contrast <coughs> was good at 0% so let's just keep it there <coughs> you already a document so you can always use whatever you want now you can use the same text you want out here and um, you can create I'm just I'm, I'm again not gonna spend too much time in creating uh, that uh, finding the uh, the font that I want you can you can use whatever you font you use there are a lot of font options out here I'm just gonna quickly draw a text box right here and I'm gonna just <coughs> copy paste this sorry I'm just gonna copy paste this particular part out here <coughs> okay so you can write whatever you want to you can obviously this this font is uh, Montserrat you can use the font that you want uh, looks and use <coughs> bold text so go uh, go for capital letters if you want to it will look amazing trust me <coughs> this is how it's gonna look blow it up and you have another brilliant uh, presentation slide so go ahead guys use this I have uh, <clears throat> gone ahead and used uh, the, uh, images from the web if I want to give it to give a, a talk about a slide where I'm talking about great leadership you can use uh, a, a great leader I personally love Steve Jobs leadership so I've used his picture out here and I'm talking about leadership uh, I'm, I use a lot of shapes the shapes are out here you can use shapes out here and put whatever shape you want you can draw these shapes like this you can change their uh, uh, transparency to color to transparent it will become transparent <coughs> you can uh, change the width of the line <coughs> line width to whatever thickness you want and of course change the color of the line so you can keep it white if you want so that's how you can create the circles <coughs> I've already created them it looks amazing if you we check this slide out check out how it looks it looks just brilliant isn't it so guys go ahead use Google slide I personally believe this is one of the best tools to use I've also shown you how to use amazing uh, pictures as your background and create a stunning presentation rather than creating simple plain boring uh, 